Right, so unfortunately, my rechargeable Seiko battery in my Seiko V172 movement has stopped working. So I'm gonna use this opportunity to show you how to replace a rechargeable quartz battery in a Seiko V172 movement. Let's go. All right, so under today's tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to change a rechargeable quartz battery in a Seiko V172 movement. Now these steps are gonna work for a lot of the Seiko movements, specifically in the V170 series family, but I'm gonna show you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to replace the quartz battery. Now replacing a rechargeable quartz battery is very similar to replacing a standard quartz battery. However, there are a couple extra steps. There's a couple terminals that you have to make sure that you are lining up correctly when you're swapping out these batteries. Now, since replacing a solar power rechargeable quartz battery takes more steps, it also generally costs more if you were to have a professional watchmaker do it. I mean, even the cost of a rechargeable quartz battery uh, can be several times more expensive than just your standard quartz battery. Now, in order to do this project, you need obviously the watch head. You're gonna need a watch case removing tool, some pliers. I'm gonna be using a grease pad, some replacement gaskets, and then obviously a replacement rechargeable quartz battery that's compatible with the movement. Now a normal quartz battery will usually last you from anywhere from two to three years, depending on the model. So when I replace a standard quartz battery, sometimes I will just take the gasket, inspect it, and if it still looks good, I might just throw a little bit of gasket grease on it and then reuse it. But when it comes to the rechargeable quartz batteries, these batteries are generally gonna last anywhere from 10 to upwards of 15 years before it's time for that battery replacement. I personally think that 10 years is a long time to be using one gasket. So if I'm gonna be taking the case back off and replacing the battery, I am gonna utilize that opportunity to go ahead and replace the gasket while I'm in there. So there's a couple different ways that you can find the correct battery and gasket for your specific watch model. The thing about Seikos is on the case backs, they're generally gonna have um, several numbers and letters in a certain sequence. Now on the case back with the two groupings of numbers, Seiko will usually provide the movement number first and then the case size number next. So on the back of this one, it says V172-OAGO. So the V172 is referenced to the V172 movement that's inside, and then the OAGO is gonna be the actual case dimensions. So if you have the quartz movement number and the case size, you might be able to just order the battery and gasket replacement just with a internet search. And then the other way to find your correct battery and gasket replacement would be to simply open up the case back, take the battery out and actually look on the battery cell for the actual battery cell number, and then you could replace it that way. And then with the gasket, you could actually look at the gasket and tell if it's a round or flat gasket, and then you can use calipers to just measure uh, the interior to exterior width of the gasket. Then you could just buy a gasket, either from the brand or just from a third party that uh, sells a gasket that matches those dimensions. So I already have my parts in, so we're gonna go ahead and change perspectives now, and I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how I change a rechargeable quartz battery for the Seiko V172 movement. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get our case back tool and open up this case back. So if I didn't know what the gasket size was based on that case, I would be able to essentially measure the interior and exterior width of the gasket. And I would do that just like this, measuring it there attached to the case. And then I would open up the calipers just to see how wide the flat gasket ends up extending. Then if I had those measurements, I could in theory just order the replacement gasket. So I'm gonna take this old worn out gasket off And now before you remove this quartz battery, you really want to uh, take a really good look at it 
because with the rechargeable quartz batteries, there ends up being uh, a couple extra terminals that usually will attach to the top of the battery. So there's one kind of underneath here, and there's an extra terminal right here. So you wanna notice where those connection points are for those extra terminals. Now, when you buy a replacement battery, uh, sometimes you are able to specify the exact battery and it can come with the terminals. Uh, unfortunately, uh, when I purchased it, this one just came just with the battery itself. It doesn't include the terminals specific for this Seiko V172 movement. So what I'm gonna try to do is I'm actually gonna try to take off this adhesive and use the same terminals on this old retired battery and place that on the new replacement rechargeable battery. Now using your tweezers, you're gonna remove the old battery as gently as you can. You wanna just gent gently lift it out. So you can see on this one where the two terminals are sticking out from that battery cell. Now, once you get out your new battery, you want to look at the way the other battery was oriented. And so it looks like it was oriented like this inside the watch. Now I'm going to actually take off this adhesive and try to stick it onto the new battery. So I'm gonna take off this terminal. So here's the old terminal with the adhesive still on it. And now the way that I'm gonna actually do this is I'm actually going to insert the battery first. And then I'm going to place the terminal on top of the battery and then push down on that adhesive to try to reuse it. So make sure you get that terminal right in the correct spot before you press down on the adhesive and stick it on. Now if the battery's in, I should see the watch ticking. And you'll see down at that nine o'clock position. Now on a quartz watch, when the battery is low, you'll see the seconds hand oftentimes tick once every two seconds. So that just means that this battery needs to be recharged. Okay, so now that the new battery is in and those terminals are stuck on, I'm going to replace the gasket before I seal it back up. I'm gonna take out a new gasket. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it on the, uh, the grease pad. And this should just kind of help lubricate the gasket and hopefully will extend its life and ensure that we have a nice waterproof seal on the case. You want to make sure that it's laying nice and flat, which will help ensure a nice seal. Now, once you're comfortable the gasket is in the right place, you will go ahead and screw it back on. And then you also just want to make sure that you're checking that the gasket is not uh, sticking out anywhere. And it looks like it's fitting well between the case back and the case. All right, so there you have it, a real quick down and dirty, how to replace a rechargeable quartz battery in your wristwatch. Some key takeaways, make sure you have a properly fitting gasket and that you have the right rechargeable quartz battery. And it's preferable if you can get it with the replacement terminals already attached. But if you got some value out of this video, go ahead and drop me a like button. If you wanna see more tutorial videos like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And remember guys, it doesn't matter if you're too cheap to have a professional change your watch batteries as long as you wear your watches.